going on guys welcome to the video it's Brando Linick here and you're looking for how to start an ambulance service business um, really awesome stuff it shows me you're looking to become an entrepreneur a business owner and I'm gonna share with you some basic fundamental principles that you have to know that are really critical when it comes to actually doing this having close business friends of mine when I say friends more so business associates of mine that I've gotten around who have done it um, also sharing with you kind of my thoughts and opinions and also experiences when it comes to building a business in general to get the results that you want having a business work for you rather than against you to give you a clear understanding by the end of this video what to do how to do it why things work the way they do how things work the way they do and much much more but when it comes to the first part of this conversation uh, an ambulance service business okay dealing with the fleet of vehicles dealing with there's different approaches you could tackle it I mean you could have just a service that you're offering as a community service okay where you're helping out you know hospitals where their ambulances are being used and you can offer your services as an ambulance driver or an ambulance assistant and you can go out there have your people pick up people and bring them back to the hospital so you can do like a third party uh, service approach okay you can also do it as something where you kinda offer your services to a hospital or an animal shelter and you're in an agreement partnership with them um, you can do that approach where you have already started your own fleet of vehicles okay you have all the medical supplies you have the regulated uh, instruments that are needed okay to actually operate legally an ambulance service business which is a lot of the precautions you need to take but aside from that the fundamental basics all right the principles what I want to touch on and do a review on dealing with supplies dealing with equipment Equipment, medical equipment, dealing with the overhead of a fleet of vehicles and employees, all right, dealing with, um, I should say, you know, I guess you could say a lot of employees, okay, dealing with all this stuff, managing and maintaining it from a business perspective in this review, you just have to be aware of because not just managing and maintaining it money wise but the time that you have to put in that you can't get back it's the number one commodity time all right it can drain you okay when you're working 16 hour days when you're the first one to show up the last one to leave and just running the show it can it can beat you up okay um, and that's just something you got to be aware of it goes with the territory of an ambulance service business you got to be there on the spot when things are in need okay and it doesn't matter the approach you got to take that's just the fundamental principles you got to learn and this can cost you I've seen people start ambulance and service businesses anywhere from fifty thousand dollars up to and over a hundred thousand dollars obviously it depends on the equipment the supplies you're using how many fleets you have okay if you have a lot of fleet vehicles if you have only a couple vehicles all right it shows you how much you can operate and um, you know from that perspective <laughs> honestly if you're only looking at this because you want to build a business to be your own boss I would advise you before you consider starting an ambulance service business, if you're looking at this to turn a high profit margin, if you're looking at this to be your own boss, if you hear me out here for a minute, I've got a lead I want to throw you away. And my story and experience with this goes back a year ago when I came across a person who wasn't dealing with that, building a business, get this, a high multiple six figure income business without supplies, equipment, employees, without a fleet of vehicles they had to manage and maintain, all right, without any of that stuff and building it on the internet. They are building a business online, having the leverage to pick up and travel and move where they wanted to move and live there and build an income and maintain it. And because they were doing this, making more money every month than I was making in two years, I started to model and copy them. And not average your typical results, but in my first month and total of 90 days, I created a full-time income business, working part-time. <laughs> and uh, I worked my butt off, for lack of better words. I had to learn a lot of stuff, like you'd have to in any business, but to save you a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, only if you're looking at this to build a business to build an income. A high profit income is the best income and best business model you could tap into. One where you can increase your profit margins and decrease your overhead. And the internet, my friend, is the best tool and modality you could tap into to absolutely dominate and be able to do that. And if that makes sense to you from a business perspective, I would suggest connecting with someone who's already building a business online before you start trying to figure things out yourself because there's a lot of noise out there online. Best thing to do, just connect with someone who's willing to connect with you. And if you're still adamant on starting an ambulance service business, even though this is a business model review, you. If you want to learn this, comment down below. I'll break it down in more detail, share with you a little bit more, and actually point you in the right direction, introduce you to some people. Just comment down below. But if you're looking at this to build an income, to do what you want, to have flexibility, time, freedom, and leverage, learn to build a business online. And if you're following me here and this makes sense to you, if you're willing to put in work, you're not afraid of learning, connect with me on my site, check it out. It's 123marketingtips.com and ending with this video. I'll put the link down below and uh, I look forward to seeing your success story regardless of if you decide to connect with me or not. I hope you got value and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the beach of the world. Take care.